Hello and welcome to The Thrifty Author. I'm your host, Gail Z. Martin. And today I want to start uh, the first in a series of a couple of uh, shows on mailing list builder programs. What are they? How do you use them? And um, why should you care? So your mailing list is something that you own, even if social media platforms come and go. So if your only way to contact your readers is through Facebook or Twitter or YouTube, and for some reason that platform suddenly goes away, you've lost your contact to those readers. But if you have their opt-in permission to send them your newsletter, if you've gotten them to sign up for your mailing list, then you own that list and you have a way of getting in touch with those readers and making sure they stay updated about your newest books and, and the social media platforms can come and go. It's also another way to get your book in front of readers who may not be on social media as much if they've gotten some fatigue with all the crazy stressful stuff going on and have stepped away for a while, which a lot of people have done. Also, you know, the feeds fill up and go by very quickly. Sometimes notifications don't show you everything, even if you signed up to see everything from a person. You know, sometimes there's a glitch. And so just because you've posted it out there on social media doesn't mean that the right people have seen it. So making sure that your newsletter gets out to the right people, that's a great way to uh, reinforce that message if they did see it the first time or kind of do a backup in case they didn't. Now, uh, as we've talked about before, there are a lot of different ways to build your mailing list. Some of them are a lot slower than others. Um, and especially in a time like this, when we aren't doing live events, you can't really get people to sign up at your table if they come to buy one of your books or enter for a chance to win a raffle basket and sign up for your newsletter. Uh, you know, of course, you can gather email addresses if you do online events, but again, hit or miss. So. The thing about the newsletter builder, mailing list builder programs out there, like Prolific Works and Book Funnel and Story Origin, to name a few, are that they offer a tried and true reward for people to sign up. And that is either a free book, a free story, or a free excerpt or preview. Now, the great thing about this is you can do an excerpt or preview of a book, even if it's in Kindle Unlimited, as long as in that particular case, you don't, you limit your excerpt to no more than 10% of the word count. Now, obviously, if it's not in Kindle Unlimited, your excerpt can be as large as you want it to be. Uh, I generally suggest a chapter, unless you're watching that word count for KU, because you want to give people a good enough excerpt that it hooks them and they want to read the rest of the story. Too short, they're not invested in it yet. Of course, you can put a complete book up there, but you can also put a complete short story, complete novella. Um, it, it's there, you really have a lot of opportunity for creativity. I want to talk first about Prolific Works because it's the simplest. And then in some future sessions, we'll talk about some of the others because they have extra bells and whistles. They do some extra things. They're pretty cool, but they're also a little more complicated. Prolific Works stays pretty true to form. And what you get on Prolific Works depends on your level of buy-in. The free level for an author lets you join someone else's multi-author giveaway, but it doesn't let you save the uh, email addresses of the people who sign up to get your freebie. And it doesn't let you create your own giveaways. So for $20 a month, I think, check the site. These things change. Uh, you can get an intermediary level that lets you do more of those things, lets you have more pen names. And then there's an upper tier level for uh, multi-author organizations, companies, or if you're just really uh, using the heck out of this thing. I think most people are gonna be happy with that middle tier. Now, when you get into Prolific Works, there's a browse giveaways. These are the giveaways that other people, other authors have put together, and they're usually around a theme. That might be a seasonal theme like the holidays, Halloween, uh, summer vacation. It might be by genre, so mystery or thriller, romance, LGBTQ, fantasy. You'll see all of that in there. 
when you browse them, you're browsing by genre. So you want to go out and look for the genres that best describe your book and see what the giveaways are. Sometimes there will be a lot of them. Sometimes there won't be many. So you have to keep dropping back. I suggest, you know, come back every couple of weeks and see who's posted a new giveaway and whether there are any new ones for your genres. So before you can join a giveaway, you need to upload something of your own so that you have something to give away. And that's where the My Books piece comes in. You can load a cover, not a super high res cover. I would suggest if you're doing an excerpt from something that's already on Amazon, save the image off of the Amazon page and that's gonna be the right resolution for a prolific works cover. If you get too high of a res, the, the uh, program won't take it. So you need a book cover. And you need the story in at least PDF and EPUB, but there is also a Mobi option. And of course, with free Mobi converters out there on the internet, it's pretty easy to take a Word document and change it into all three of those. Your decision on whether you're putting a whole story or a part of a story or um, a whole book, but you know, this is a great way to reuse stories that you've written for an anthology after your rights revert. Now, it's important that your rights have reverted so that you're not breaking your contract. But once, you've, once you're finished with an anthology and it's finished with you and those rights have reverted, putting the story out on Prolific Works is a great way to get extra mileage out of the effort you put into creating that story and have it bring and attract more readers to you and build your newsletter. So. Take a look at what short stories you have the rights to that you could put out there. You might be inspired to write a brand new story that is only available on Prolific Works that ties into some of your other books or series. This is a great way to do a prequel or an in-betweener and have a story out there that you can say, well, if you like these characters, they have all these other books over here. That works tremendously well. Then you wanna create your story. I would suggest Having, some, having a page in the back that says, if you've enjoyed this story, here's where to find the rest of my books and, and maybe list them. And if the story ties into a particular book or series, make sure you say that, hey, these characters are in this series and you can find them here and these are, these are their books. But you also wanna give them maybe a short paragraph about who you are and what you write. And then those all important social media links where they can find you on Facebook and Twitter and. Um, all the other social media sites. And if you have a reader group, it's a great place to put your reader group link so that, hey, join me at my reader group where you can find out all about everything. And that way, the story is really working very hard for you. It's not only attracting people in the giveaway, but after they finish the story, it's almost hand delivering them to your other sites and other series and you get to keep the email address. Now, very important decision when you're loading your book is do you do opt-in, uh, optional opt-in or mandatory opt-in? Okay, what is opt-in? Opt-in of course is the person is giving you permission to add them to your list. This is very important because there are some uh, laws both in the US and in Canada and Europe that have uh, privacy ramifications. The US of course has the least uh, teeth in their law, the CAN-SPAM law, but you really don't want to run afoul of it because there are some pretty nasty penalties if you do. And if your ISP thinks you're spamming, it's likely to block you or other people's uh, internet service providers will block you. And then your mail isn't getting through even though you're sending it. So op opting in is a very important thing. Do you want optional or mandatory? Here's my thought on that. Other people differ. If you put optional, then people who really don't want your newsletter aren't going to accidentally get it. If you force people to sign up for something they don't want, i.e. your newsletter in addition to the story, they will just opt out of your newsletter as soon as they get the first issue and maybe report you to spam, to, as spam to your email provider. Now, if you get a lot of reports to your mailing service or your email provider that you're spamming, you get in trouble because you tick this person off by making them sign up for your newsletter list. I think it's a lot better to have the people who want your list in the first place sign up for it and the others don't have to. That way you don't have to get rid of them later, they don't have to get rid of you. 
Now, other people feel very strongly, this is my work and I want paid for it. And so I'm gonna make it mandatory. Go ahead, it's a free country. But those people are gonna leave as soon as they get the freebie and they may report you for spam. I just don't see the value in that. What I find when I upload the addresses that I've collected from a giveaway on Prolific Works is the first time I mail out to them, a very small percentage of people either turn out to have given a bad email address uh, or opt out. But it's really a very small percentage, like less than 1%. Meanwhile, I've gained hundreds, maybe thousands of new interested people who have signed up for my newsletter. So that's the deal on opt-in. You have that choice when you upload your book. You have to put in a paragraph that's kind of a blurb about your book, keep it short, it really is only about a paragraph. You get to pick some categories and boom, your story's up there on Prolific Works. Now that you have your story up there, or maybe more than one, and you can have more than one pen name. So if you write under different pen names and in somewhat different genres, you can have stories up there on Prolific Works that reflect that. So you can join a variety of different giveaways. Now you go to the giveaways and you look to see which ones suit the genres that you write in. There is no point in signing up for everything that's out there because if you don't write hard-boiled detective novels and you sign up for a hard-boiled detective novel, A, they will probably boot you out of it because they can see you don't fit. B, nobody's gonna sign up for your book. And they may even complain about you abusing the system. So just play by the rules. Go for the genres that you actually fit. Make sure you read the rules. At the top of each giveaway, the promoter can put the rules. Now that may be that um, they only want two books maximum per pen name. That may be that they have a limit on how sexy the books can be. They may say um, no shirtless men on the cover. Uh, they may say YA only. You really want to pay attention to those rules because, again, you don't want to get booted out. You don't want to get a reputation for breaking the rules. And if you're out of step with the program and somehow get through it and, and show up in the giveaway, it's not going to work right for you because you don't really belong there. So pay attention to the rules. This is also where I tell you to get a feel for the person putting the giveaway together. Most of the promoters out there seem to be doing it for all the right reasons. And, and, and while they have their rules, they aren't really crazy about it. There are a couple people out there who uh, must not have much else going on in their lives because they wanna micro control this. And it's like, if you don't get so many shares in the first day, I'm, you know, or in the first five days, or if you don't share it in your newsletter in the first five days, I'm gonna kick you out of the program. Okay, nobody needs that kind of drama in their life. Just let them go their way. This is probably not the promotion for you. Let them go run their little kingdom over here. Um, that, and that is one of the things that I find some people try to dictate when you have to send your newsletter out. I personally send a newsletter out once a month. So I'm not going to get bullied into sending out that newsletter more often than that just for somebody's giveaway. And if you send a newsletter out every week or twice a month, that schedule may work fine for you. But just make sure you read those rules. And now you sign up for the giveaway and they send you a link. And that link is important to use when you promote the giveaway, which is required and rightfully so, in your newsletter and on your social media so that they can track how many people you actually sent to the giveaway. The link tends not to be to your story, it's to the giveaway itself. And here's where be a good citizen, promote the whole giveaway, not just your piece of it. Because these giveaways, the whole benefit of being in a giveaway that is themed by genre or by season, whatever, with a whole bunch of other authors is discoverability. Somebody looks at the giveaway because it's about Halloween or they look at it because it's romance and they see all these other authors that they know and, oh, here you are, they've never heard of you, but you must be okay because you're hanging out with these other people and they click your sample. And now maybe they read it and they love it and they become a diehard fan of yours. So you want to promote the whole giveaway. The other reason for sticking with opt-in is that Prolific Works chooses which giveaways to promote in its email to its subscribers overall and in its, uh, on its website. And they do this, I think, every, every Monday. When you get to be a 
when you're part of a featured giveaway, this really boosts the giveaway's visibility and it can do a really nice number for um, goosing how many people sign up for it because they see it, it's, it's very visible. They won't do a featured giveaway if anybody has mandatory opt-in. So you lose that free promotional boost and I just don't think the mandatory opt-in is worth it. So you go out to Prolific Works, you load a book or two or an excerpt or a story or a novella, you find the kind of giveaways that work right for you and that are a good match for you. It generates your unique link. You use that link to promote it in your newsletters and on uh, your social media. And then when the promotion is finished or you can go in, if, if you do it every month like I do right before my newsletter goes, it will catch everybody who has signed up for all of your promotions since the last time. You can generate uh, a file of those signups in uh, an Excel format or a CSV format so that you can export that and uh, copy and paste it into your mailing list uh, service and whether it's MailerLite or MailChimp or Constant Contact or whatever you're using. And now you get to see the real reward to signing up and that's all those new people who are going to be getting your newsletter. Now, there's some additional tricks that you can do with Prolific Works, and I want to talk more about some of the other sites like Book Funnel and Story Origin, but I think that's enough to get you started for today. So I'll be back next week, and thanks for hanging out with me. Once again, this has been The Thrifty Author, and I'm Gail Z. Martin. I'll see you online. <laughs>